On this episode of Cache Canada, we're going off into the woods to find four geocaches. A regular, a small, a micro, and another. Another. Ooh, sounds intriguing. They're all by the same CO, and he's told me that they recently have all been found, so hopefully we'll have the same luck. Let's go. The first one is called a route to a route and is only 117 meters away. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully we have good luck and we can find it right away. And they're all like that. We've got a promising looking spot with a whole lot of trunks and we're just rooting through the snow. Even Blake's got into the action. He's trying to sniff out the cache. We had lots of help from the CO to try to locate that one, but we're just not seeing what he's telling us. Too much snow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're just going to move on to the next one. The elephant's nose. See it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That it's not a small, that's a micro. And just like the uh, cache name said, it's in the elephant's nose, the trunk. Good eyes for Lear class to spot that one. I love this type of container. And I'm gonna ask the CEO where he gets them from because these ones are nice and solid. They've got a good snapping cap and they're even lined inside with like a white plastic. And uh, you put a, a log in a plastic bag in there, yeah, it's going to be good and dry for a long time. If I find out where he got these, I'll put that in the description below. That's a good container. I found it. Got it off the fairway. Yeah, with a name like off the fairway and a hint of a hole in one. I mean, how could you not know it was going to be a bison in a golf ball? And you know what had me worried? What were you worried about? White golf balls in the snow. <laughs> that would be worrisome. Yeah, I, know, I wasn't sure we could find this one, but we got it. Great cash. Gotta love it. So for us here in Canada, we're at the start of our winter season and that brings on many challenges. But I realize that not everyone has winters like we do. And we don't, they don't have to face the snow and ice like we do. So what kind of challenges do you have to face in different seasons? Well, put that in your comments below. Let us know, because we realize there are a lot of people that watch Cash Canada that don't experience the same things that we do. And uh, we'd like to know what your experience is like. This isn't the next geocache, but things sure have gotten a lot cooler in the forest. <laughs> We've broken from the path and are now bushwhacking to the cache because we didn't see any other way we were going away from it. So now we're in a true bushwhack, picking our way through the forest, using some deer trails here and there. Otherwise, working our way around all the foliage, branches and sticks and trees and logs. And we're counting down towards the cache, Where bit by bit. Where are we at? How much further do we gotta go? Uh, 82 meters. 82, oh, that's pretty good. It was a lot better than 130 and counting up. Oh, yeah. Lots of tracks in the snow leading up to, I'm thinking, a cache right there.
found it. Yep. As the uh, CEO mentioned to me, uh, the gnome home is a little worse for wear. And uh, he thinks uh, when the gnomes move out, he's going to deny them their security deposit for damages incurred. It'd be really rough on this place. <laughs> we'll get signed up, and that's it. Now we're putting her back, and wouldn't you know it, there's a trail right beside this tree. Somehow we missed. But that's the way we always do geocaching, isn't it? The hard way in, easy way out. We had a lot of fun on this outing. Three out of four is not too bad. And as a friend of ours is always fond of saying, a DNF is sure better than a sharp stick in the eye. And if ha, you like that ha, joke, ha, ha. give us a like. And if you don't like that joke, give us a like. Yeah. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take, take you? you?